Well, a very good evening to each and every one of you joining me, Miss Belinda Scandal, for this week's Showbiz Scandal. This week, we are at the Palace Theatre watching the musical Scylla. Apparently, we're in for a treat. We'll wait and see. It might be good, it might not. Jukebox musicals, in general, I'm always a little bit dubious about. So let's see how it goes for this week's Showbiz Scandal. Shabba! So here we are, everybody, at the Palace Theatre, joined today by Mr. Andrew Lancel and our lovely... How do you pronounce your surname? Oh. Just two letters. Yeah, yeah. That's nice and easy, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Very yeah. easy, indeed. So uh, we're here watching the Scylla musical tonight. Now, I know nothing about this particular musical as yet, other than obviously it's based around the film, is it? It's based on the Jeff Polk's uh, three-part award-winning TV mm -hmm. show, um, which was a sensation, and I'm very pleased to say that the sensation seems to continue. Fingers crossed for Manchester. We've been doing it now for about ten weeks or something yeah, like that. Yeah, and every town is just loving it. It's a, it's a thrill. And kind of an honour to be in as well when you're in something that's um, sort of a hit like this and we're on stage with this revelation Cara who plays Scylla and uh, every single night it's tears and standing ovations and this boy is phenomenal, this Bobby, in it and it's it's just one of those shows, you get asked to do interviews all the time but with this one I never mind because it's so good, you think mm -hmm. it's great, yeah. come along and see it. Tell the world about it, yeah. that's right, isn't yeah. it? So you're playing Bobby in this yeah. then, and how, how much research have you done for that? Um, I did quite a bit, so I, as much as I can possibly on like YouTube and stuff, there's various interview clips, and also the books, Scylla's autobiography, mm -hmm. so it explains a little bit in. So that's the thing, Bobby was kind of behind the scenes quite a lot, yeah. so it's been quite nice for me to develop this uh, off Jeff Pope's script, which is phenomenally was was well written, really amazing. So yeah, so just kind of reading a lot of books and, and as much material as I possibly can, really, and then, yeah... And then it's, it's kind of come together, so it's good. Uh, because I don't know much about this, how much singing within this musical does Bobby actually do then? Well, in, yeah, so the, it's based on, like, it, well, it's a bio biographical kind of a piece. So Bobby actually wrote a lot of songs for Scylla. Mm -hmm. um, and in this musical, he gets to sing. So he, he gets to sing um, three numbers now, actually. Uh, one is a duet that I've given too much away. Um, and yeah, it's just nice. I think we've had we've had Robert Willis, who's the executive producer on this, Silla's son, who has um, been talking about it, and he says it's really strange to almost see his his dad sing and have that limelight, which is quite nice. So yeah, it's gone it's gone well so far. Because he did a bit of singing at the beginning of his sort of career. He did, he? Yeah, yeah, he absolutely did. Um, so one of his songs, "Shy of Shy of Love," he wrote and stuff, and he'd, he'd sit there with his guitar and, and jam along and write those. So yeah, it's been great to kind of develop that and and yeah. Sing. And you're playing the great legend, Mr. Bright Epstein. Yeah, yes. for the third time. For the third time. Yeah. So where did you play it first? Uh, the first time was in Liverpool mm -hmm. at the Epstein Theatre. Right. Uh, in a play called Epstein, The Man Who Made the Beatles. Mm -hmm. Produced by uh, Bill Elms, who's sitting, standing in the corner over there. <laughs> and Jen Hayes, opposite um, a wonderful actor, Will Finlayson, who came to see the show last week. Mm -hmm. It was great to have him back. And uh, yeah, and then it went to London. You know, we had this uh, yeah. time, and, and, and so... Uh, this show, though it wasn't this particular show, uh, was first muted to me by Bill Kenwright the opening night of Epstein in London. Right. He said, we're doing something on Scylla Black. It, it, it wasn't Jeff Pope's script. Scylla was still alive at the time. It was just something that was out there. And I was like, yeah, cool, whatever, you know, and fantastic. And how has this um, interpretation for the musical changed from the first two times that you played by Oh, Epstein? very different. This show is called Scylla. Mm -hmm. That show was called Epstein. Right. Um, so uh, this is sort of a snapshot into the relationship between... Um, very uh, Scylla's love story with Bobby and also the love story with Epstein and Bobby and uh, uh, Brian's relationship which was full of love but quite turbulent and true mm -hmm. it all happened, all this happened she was a girl from Scotty Road you know, who didn't have a front door and met this guy and met this guy and became the sensation and then it continued on and on and it's very much of a time this show uh, one of the reviews I was made up said if you want to see a show about that time in the 60s this is it, so it's more than the story of Scylla, it's a sort of, it's a love story and it's a love story to the 60s I think as mm -hmm. well. So. And do you have a favourite song with um, from Scylla? For me personally? Yeah, that makes um, you always think of Scylla. Oh, for me it's um, Anyone Who Had A Heart. Mm -hmm. I mean, on the opening night in Liverpool, um, we've been saying for a while during rehearsals that this girl was the new Streisand and you mm -hmm. know, she was that good. I remember saying to her, Brian kind of brings her on and says, okay, now you're going to do this. And I remember saying to Cara, truly, it sounds corny that your life's about to change. And it did. It just, Liverpool stopped. Uh, you were there. 
you know, and it was just a sensation. And every night she does that, mm. and watching her on stage from inches away is just yeah. a, such a blister for me. It's got to be that. And what's your favourite? That is the same. She sings Alfie amazingly well as well. <laughs> Alfie's beautiful. Uh, but yeah, it's just that kind but of there thing. Are, is yeah, there are her, when, you, when they sing together, when Bobby and Silla sing together, that's, that's a very <laughs> sad but beautiful moment. It comes at a really nice point in the, in the script and the narrative, so yeah. um, it's kind of, it works really well to have the duet there. Which is you've lost that love and fear. So. Because a lot of these musicals that are based on people, legends, they tend to not always deliver, don't they? So what would you say, how does this particular production make it deliver? I think it starts with Jeff's script. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it starts with the, the, the love that people have for Scylla Black and the fact that she was on our tellies and radios our whole life. Mm -hmm. um, and I just think it's this, a show that's full of hope. Mm -hmm. And you've, then you have the Beatles in it. You have Jerry in would you like to sing? Boys? Oh, well, it's a good job we know that one, isn't it? OK, here she is, all the way from Scotty Road, the little Scylla here. Opportunity not. One of the things, obviously, is because, you know, we've got someone who is phenomenal in mm -hmm. that central role uh, that doesn't come along very often. And so, yeah, I, I think a lot of Bob, and Bill Kenwright knows what he's doing when it comes to music. Yeah. yeah. You've got a really talented cast as well, like the whole cast. Like, They're amazing. Really talented, playing instruments, singing, on like the, the different instruments that they pick up and play. Incredible, incredible. Like if you just think about it, like me and Cora had a moment in rehearsals where we sing and we act and yeah, Cora sings quite a lot of the songs in the show. But we were like, we feel so untalented next to all the rest of the company. Like they're phenomenal. How do you think I feel? <laughs> oh shush. And you you sound like you're from Liverpool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was born at Kirby Lad. Right. Yeah, so I was born there. And then yeah, grew, grew up there and then when I reached seventeen, eighteen and then I moved to London. And yeah. Trained, trained in London in, in a theatre school. So I dream of a role for you to find that. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's so nice to well it was nice to play in our hometown, Liverpool. Mm -hmm. To do that there and, and to celebrate Scylla and everything that she stood for is amazing. What's it all about? I think is it just for the So we've just been watching Scylla the musical, an absolute sensation. Honest to goodness me, if you're looking for a heartwarming musical about Miss Scylla Black, this is the musical for you. In fact, if you're looking for a heartwarming musical in general, this is the musical for you. It's got a fantastic cast with the one and only Cara leading the helm as Scylla and of course our lovely Andrew Lancel as the one and only Brian Epstein. It's got beautiful music, the sets are just fantastic as well. The, uh, the sound, mm, a bit dodgy in places, the sound was, but overall I suppose if we're marking this as a whole, we're going to mark it four out of five Scandal Stars. You all take care of yourself, I'll see you all this time next week for Show the Scandal. Shiva! Yeah.